Welcome to Small Town Saskatchewan. It's September 18th, 2021, and we are at Armilla. Looking along Range Road 52, west of the second here. Down towards the rail line. There's somebody busy today. Off southeast towards those that pile of ridge moraine on the other side of the Moose Mountain Spillway, which is over the hill beyond the canola hill. Pretty crawl. Those hills have likely got a local name, but I don't know it. We stand maybe 50 meters above the plain down there in Moose Mountain Creek. A vestige of the spillway, a remnant meandering back and forth across the valley bottom. And it is warm this Monday afternoon. 33 degrees in the shade. Looking off towards the southwest. In the RM of Brock, number 64. And this is the same view looking southeast, but on a different day. There's the ridge to the moraine on the other side spillway, you can really see the shape of it from here, wide and flat, lots of sands and gravels down there, washed down from Glacier Lake Regina back in the day, Range Road 52 again, due south, you can really see the profile of the spillway bottom, a lot of water came down between the hills yonder and the Moose Mountain Highlands behind us. Maybe several hundred years before the lake was drained. You gotta love a good Saskatchewan breeze. Busy Highway 13 howling off to the north. Also known as the Red Coat Trail, stretches border to border. Southern Saskatchewan. Old pump jack busy pulling back and crude out of the Valley View oil field part of the Williston Basin formations. You can see the lump of Moose Mountain off to the left there and looking east and drifting over towards the right of way that the CPR built in the early 1900s. They open it for business on November the 9th, 1904, from Arcola, about five miles down the way there, to Regina. At the time, it claimed the longest, straightest piece of trackage in the British Empire. And looking down into the Moose Mountain Spillway. So, where is Armilla, or Armia? Latin for bracelet, apparently. We're looking west here, along Township Road 82 and the right of way. And I think, right at the crossroads there, that's Range Road 52. There was never a station here, no post office, no nothing except a siding and a cattle corral. And right near where the Honda car is parked stood a lonely Saskatchewan wheat pool elevator. Number 912, built in 1928 and closed in 1961. Canadian Pacific abandoned this part of the Kisby sub from Arcola to Stoughton and had it all cleaned up by 1993. And a landsman look at the right of way with Moose Mountain rising majestically in the background. Of course, no one ever lived at Armilla. 
The elevator is likely run by an agent stationed in Kisby, four miles west of the line. I don't know why Poole even bothered to build here. It's only eight and a half or nine miles between Arcola and Kisby. However, the roads weren't all that great in 1928. Armilla, Saskatchewan.